You know, there's not much the Wii U has done better than the Wii, but one thing it's definitely doing better is downloadable games. The eShop has actually become a thriving service with an active community and some of the best games on the system. So if you made a WiiWare game, it makes a lot of sense to bring it back on the Wii U to the more active eShop. And this is the latest game to make that jump. It's Flowerworks HD, Foley's Adventure for the Nintendo Wii U. So the original Flowerworks was released to WiiWare back in 2009. If you're a big Wii fan, you might remember that there were actually a lot of great WiiWare games in 2009. Castlevania, Excitebike, Swords and Soldiers, Nyx Quest. So it was easy to miss a game like this. And when you factor in the design of WiiWare, it was really easy to miss a game like this. And that's a shame because Flowerworks was a really cool action puzzle. So it's great to see it on the eShop, where it's likely to get a little more attention than on WiiWare. The only problem is, it was kind of better on WiiWare. So you play as this little alien explorer thing who crashes on a weird planet and notices right away that the landscaping sucks. So I guess you're also a judgmental little alien explorer thing. But it works out because you happen to be delivering seeds at the time. So before you worry about, oh, I don't know, getting home, you decide to fix the landscaping by planting the seeds you were supposed to deliver. So you're a judgmental little alien explorer who's also a terrible delivery guy. Now, there are basically two parts to Flowerworks. You have the actual levels, where you're planting seeds and it's this crazy action puzzler, and you have the overworld. And that's where you move around the environment and unlock new levels. And actually, it's also where you see the fruits of your labor, so to speak. See, every time you complete a level, you get this nature explosion that makes the area around that level more colorful and pretty. In fact, it's sort of like the Wii's The Blob games, only instead of painting a world that's been drained of its color, you're planting flowers and trees in a world that's basically barren. Of course, aside from that visual representation of your progress, there's not much to do in the overworld. I mean, levels are locked away by garden gnomes, but that's about it. So where the game really takes root are the planting puzzles. And this is where things get interesting. Now the basic idea is that you have to pollinate these plants. So you have to grab some pollen, which is just floating around all over the place, and basically shoot it into the plants. But the catch is, the color of the pollen has to match the color of the plant. And therein lies the game. So, like any great puzzle game, it's a pretty simple premise. Send matching colors of pollen to the plants. But things actually get pretty crazy from there. See, sometimes you actually have to make the matching colors. Like, there might be a purple plant, but all you have is red and blue pollen. So, you have to shoot red pollen to the purple plant, but at the right angle so that it passes through blue pollen and makes purple on the way. The more pollen you pass through, the higher your combo. And the higher your combo, the more flower works you create, the more points you score, and the crazier things get. The game throws in some cool twists as well to change things up. So like in the desert levels, the pollen levels are so low, there's barely any floating around at all, which makes things much more difficult. So the game does more than enough to keep things interesting for the duration, which is good because it's a surprisingly long game too. The only problem is, man, the new control scheme's rough. See, the game was designed for the Wii Remote. Originally, it was played with the pointer, which was awesome. But on the Wii U, it's, it's played with this cumbersome combination of shoulder buttons. You hold down L or R to lock onto a flower, and then you press ZL or ZR to switch flowers, but, oh, you also have to be near them to switch. It, it just takes a long time to get used to it. And even then, it's, it's never a very smooth or intuitive control scheme. But fortunately, the controls aside, everything else is an improvement. And even though it still looks very last gen, the HD makeover looks pretty good. The music's as good as ever, and they've added multiplayer. Oh, and hey, player two uses the Wii remote. Good for player two. Not so much for player one. In fact, during single player, you have to use the gamepad, which really sucks. It'd be great if this version, which is the better version in every way except the controls, also supported the better controls. 
You know, Flowerworks was an easy WiiWare game to recommend, but even though this version is an improvement in almost every regard, it's a step backward in the most important one. And if you can deal with the controls, this is still a great little action puzzle game. But for most players, these flowers might not be worth the effort. In Flowerworks HD, Foley's Adventure for the Nintendo Wii U.